Hello YouTubers, uh, this is my first video. I've wanted to do a video on my solar panel for quite a while but I've never had a chance to do it. So uh, uh, I took the opportunity today, it's a nice sunny day, um, to do it and I had a day off. So these are my solar panels. I bought them at uh, Sun Elect in uh, Florida. I think it's in Miami Gardens. Uh, a lot of variety, uh, new and used panels, uh, so uh, the staff was helpful and friendly. Uh, they mainly deal, I believe, with uh, qu uh, large quantities, so bulk, uh, but uh, me being the average um, consumer, uh, buy in smaller quantities, so uh, here are some of my panels. I have uh, two of these guys, uh, which are 260 watts, and then, sorry, 280 watts each. And then I have this one here, which is 190 watts, and this one here, which is, I believe, 180 watts. Um, I have eight of these ones over here. So, but this one here is not connected right now. Um, so these two are connected, and this one is connected. I'll, I'll go over and show you my inverter. Uh, this is my 1000 watt uh, grid tie inverter. I got off eBay uh, from China. Uh, I have a few of these. This one here is uh, 20 to 45 volts DC. I have another one that is uh, 10 uh, 0.8 to uh, 28 volts DC. Uh, tried them both. Um, I can't say I can see the difference because in each case the voltage, uh, sorry, the wattage um, uh, keeps jumping up and down. Uh, and I, what I mean when I say jumping up and down, it goes up and then drops right back down to zero. Right now it's just uh, going up and down due to shading. So. Uh, the sun's not hitting them all that much right now until uh, around noon. It's around 11 right now. And be careful when you buy because even though he says a thousand watts here, it all depends on what your inside breaker can take. So right now I'm just making 35 watts. Um, so be careful. Uh, I'd suggest to get maybe smaller and connect them on different circuits. Uh, in, indoor circuits, I mean, uh, the, the breaker I have indoors is 15 amps. If I would put too much, um, uh, too much current through it uh, via the solar panels, I had 800, near 800 watts at the time. Um, it wouldn't, it would just blow the circuit. So uh, the breaker would uh, would uh, would jump. So, anyways, uh, be careful. Uh, I'd suggest. Uh, uh, multiple in indoor circuits uh, 15 20 amps would probably be the best uh, but you're not going to get a thousand watts out of these as far as I know uh, from my experience I'd love to be able to make uh, just with these two 560 watts but that never ever happens of course I'm not going through the right cabling um, again as you can see uh, a lot of trees uh, so I only start getting sun at around noon uh, and then uh, six until six o'clock roughly uh, in winter it's even worse so around noon to four uh, so on a good day I'm probably making 600 watts uh, putting it back into the grid on a good day uh, when it's um, uh, like this today, which we're almost near the equinox, the spring equinox. Um, <clears throat> I'm making roughly a kilowatt, so about a thousand watts, give or take, uh, depending on the cloudiness and depending on the temperature. Um, so these ones here should give me 560 watts, but I'm only making roughly two uh, to 230. Um, I did see a max of, uh, of almost 400 watts uh, on my kilowatt meter, but uh, 
I'm not uh, seeing the results I'd like to see. Uh, again, cabling's not perfect. I need to change that. And then uh, I only have these three connected right now. So this one, this one, this one, and this one here because it's not the same as these two. Um, and probably is affecting the uh, the rating, the power, uh, the power rating too. So again, so with these three solar panels, uh, I should be pulling like two or three kilowatts a day, but I'm not. I'm only getting maybe one. Uh, but uh, this summer, when all this beautiful snow melts, I'll be uh, tinkering with that. I'll also be setting up my uh, inverters in this old freezer. Uh, so that I can run uh, thick wire directly uh, to um, to the inverters, which will, which will cut down my wire uh, costs, and then I'll just run an extension cord to the house, and hopefully that uh, that'll work. Um, but who knows? So I, I'm using an old uh, uh, temporary shelter, like a temple. Uh, in Canada up here we have a lot of them, they're temporary snow shelters that you can buy and uh, this one was a um, uh, in a uh, V-shape uh, one, uh, one day uh, last winter uh, I didn't get to it fast enough and there was a lot of snow that day um, and it caved in luckily nobody was under it and nothing no vehicles were under it either so Uh, so I managed to salvage what I, I then saw as a uh, makeshift uh, solar panel uh, rack. So these are my panels. They're just really roughly set in place, but... Again, I still can't get to all my connectors because uh, they're still frozen into the ground. Again, wiring, not perfect. Um, this one here is a... This one here is 190, 190 watts. It's my first one. Bought this one for roughly 200 bucks about seven or eight years ago. And then over the years I was able to get some of these ones. So these are my new newest purchases. These ones here, oh, all of which I bought at the, in Florida. Uh, this one here is 172 watts. And I have eight of these ones. Okay, maybe not 107. I can't tell, I but it they sold them to me at 172 watts, but it looks like 180 watts. Even better. I've never seen 180 watts coming out of them, though, but... Uh, <laughs> and they look like they have a little bit of frosting on them. But it's not from... It's not on the outside, it's on the inside. Anyways, they were used. I got them at $64 US a piece. I couldn't... I could not pass up that, uh, that bargain. Um, so I got over a, a kilowatt of uh, solar panels for 500 US, so super deal. And this one here, 200. I, I have yet to install all these, uh, they're still in the back. Uh, but these ones here I wanted to get installed. These ones here I paid, um, so here's the... It doesn't, doesn't show. These ones here I paid $160 each, I think. They're 58 cents a watt. It, it, it came out to a really good deal as well. I just, um, I, these ones here I brought down because they didn't have the kids in the van, so I could load them up in the back. Uh, but these ones here I had to put them on the roof uh, of the van and drive them back to, from Florida. I must say though that uh, that these are pretty. Uh, I know they 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 say for indoor use only, but this one here has been out in the winter. Uh, all my other ones too. Um, 
I've been out uh, during the full winter and have uh, have been yeah, have been uh, this one here has been out all winter and uh, has kept uh, has kept running uh, without any issues. Um, so for that, I'm pretty satisfied. I won't put them out in the rain though, but uh, in the snow, with a bit of shelter, uh, it's reasonable. A little disappointed, uh, but um, again. And maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong or that I didn't get. I uh, figured, okay, take a solar panel, you plug it into this, this goes out to your wall, and boom, you're making electricity. You're, you know, you're offsetting your, your hydro bill. However, um, something's not right. See, now there's a little more sun on the panel. Uh, but, again, as you can see, Goes up. So again, there's a lot of shadow right now, but so as you'll see, um, going up. Again, this isn't due to the shading, though. This is regular. Again, and I've had this with four or five inverters, so it's not the inverters. Um, it might just be the way that I'm understanding this to be uh, on how it's working. So, since I plugged it in at the beginning of November, uh, 663 hours, um, I've made three, 34 and a half kilowatt, uh, or kilowatts. So, <laughs> um, I was expecting like triple, quadruple of that. Uh, but uh, again, it's winter, I understand, uh, they, they weren't always uncovered, I had to go dig them out, uh, some snowfall, we had 20, uh, 30 centimeters, uh, this last one was 20, just earlier this week, uh, so anyways, um, I'm hoping that in the summer months I'll be able to generate a lot more, uh, again, once I fix the wiring, hopefully you'll see a jump in uh, wattage. Uh, but it's the it's the, um, the internal breakers that I'm worried about. Maybe I'll never get to achieve the thousand watts that this uh, inverter can uh, can produce, even though I have a thousand watts of solar panels on it. Uh, I know there's a coefficient of uh, of loss there, but even I put if I put 1,200 watts of solar panels on it, I'm, I'll probably never get to see the thousand watts coming out of here, because my breaker inside, 15 amps, which should be able to handle a thousand watts going back into the house, uh, can't handle it. So, anyways, I'll keep you posted on this, uh, and I'll and I'll update you. I just need to get proof of concept to work uh, to show that it's uh, it's feasible and. Uh, this actually all works and it'll eventually be worth my uh, on my while and I'll actually get to reduce the hydro bill uh, so anyways uh, post any comments subscribe like if you like it um, uh, I'll keep you posted uh, throughout the, uh, the next few months